college for the first time is a big life change, but this year there's something different about the freshman class. For most students, starting out college is a stressful time. Tests, papers, not having enough time, getting bad grades. And that stress can lead to depression. A study by UCLA that's been tracking college freshmen for the past 25 years says students' emotional health is at an all-time low. University counselors notice a difference in freshmen compared to other students. A lot of freshmen are noticing they're making decisions that aren't like what they were before. The study shows the emotional health of freshmen has gone down 3.4 percent since last year. Some experts say a down economy and tuition being at an all-time high are contributing factors. Students are worried about graduating with too much debt and no job waiting for them. However, universities want to help. One of the things that we deal with here is how to uh, really experience life and not let anything get in the way that takes away from the full experience of college. For students to fully experience college life, Veenstra suggests being active in a variety of activities. Basically, get involved, get involved, get involved. Many students find their own ways to deal with stress. My cell phone, I text people a lot, I Skype friends, I sleep, I complain to my sister. Sometimes, just talking to someone can make all the difference in the world. Talk about it. My counseling, get it off your chest. It really, I didn't believe until, or in, in the counseling really until I got into it. And I went a couple times and it helped me a lot. Universities are realizing they have to take into account students' cognitive, and emotional abilities. With photographer Matt Petroviak, Matt Simonson reporting for Studio One. The study also shows that 52% of students rated their emotional health to be high or above average. This is a drop from 64% in 1985.